We have a trade alert here on the San Francisco 49ers report. Day three of NFL free agency and John Lynch is making some moves. The Niners pulling off a heck of a trade for defensive tackle Malik Collins. First, before we dive into that, I have a lot of thoughts on it because fans should be pumped up. We also have some more breaking news from Adam Schefter that the 49ers and Pro Bowl fullback Kyle Juszczyk reached agreement on a restructured contract that is going to free up nearly $2 million in cap space. 1.75 to be exact. Kyle Juszczyk still expected to be the highest paid fullback in the National Football League. But for everybody out there who knows ball, knows his value to the system, some of the things that he does that doesn't reflect on the stat sheet, this news should also make you happy because Juszczyk is a critical component to what the Niners do. He's a leader inside that locker room, and he is impactful. And anytime the Niners go his way with the football, he always seems to make a play. He could be a big motion man, a good lead blocker, a gritty blue-collar type of player who's the best fullback in the NFL. That's why he has all these consecutive Pro Bowls and all pros to his name. Today's 49ers report, by the way, is sponsored by 8Sleep, $200 off the pod cover, 8sleep.com slash chat sports. You also get free shipping if you use that link down below. You love sleep. I love sleep. Improve your sleep with 8sleep. So here are the trade details here for this move that San Francisco just made on this fine Wednesday. Niners receiving Malik Collins, defensive tackle of the Houston Texans, started his career with the Dallas Cowboys, and the Texans only ask for a 2024 seventh-round pick. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a steal. This is a highway robbery. This is a great move by John Lynch for the player that you were bringing in. The value of this trade and how much money you are saving with him as compared to Eric Armstead, we'll get to that here in just a second. Malik Collins since 2022 has fallen under the radar as one of the more impactful interior defensive linemen in football. Last two years, he has 85 pressures working from that defensive tackle spot, 18 quarterback hits, and eight and a half sacks. He can blow up double teams with force. He can get around interior offensive linemen. He can push the pocket, and he's pretty solid against the run. Here's what he did in 2023, and I think he's going to be able to play very well alongside Nick Bosa, Javon Hargrave, Leonard Floyd, and Yatur Gross Matos. 41 tackles, five sacks, eight TFLs, and 18 quarterback hits. The Niners' defensive line here has gotten depleted to a certain degree. Now, this might spell the end of any of those DJ Jones dreams, but Malik Collins is probably a better player than DJ Jones, and you get him for a seventh-round pick. That's huge, and he is also going to cost about $10 million less than Eric Armstead. Chase, he's not the player of Eric Armstead. Shout out to Coach Yak on X for putting these numbers together. Eric Armstead, Malik Collins over the last three years. Listen closely. Armstead, 38 games, 11 sacks, 28 quarterback hits, 148 pressures, 101 tackles, 13 TFLs. Malik Collins, 46 games, 11 sacks, 35 quarterback hits, 116 pressures, 107 tackles, and 26 TFLs. So he's been the more durable player, same sack production, more quarterback hits for Collins, less pressures, more tackles, and more TFLs. You kidding me? Let's ride. Collins' is pro football focus numbers, I don't always agree with PFF. I love them with what they do for the game, making all of us smarter. I just don't always agree with their analytics. They watch every single snap. It's incredible. They're very intelligent over there. We use these grades a lot. I think he's a better run defender than a 45.6 grade. Overall, he's about in the green here at 62.7. Very good pass rusher here. 45 pressures, 26 hurries, and he's a big body on the interior. So you look at what San Francisco has done today. Seventh round pick for Malik Collins. You give up nothing there. And then he's going to be $10 million less than Eric Armstead. And then you got your 
Dre Greenlaw holdover plan in Eric Kendricks, who we already talked about on the show very early this morning because Adam Schefter broke the news at about 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific, and Malik Collins a little bit later. Let's go. This has to get you juiced up because the Niners are addressing needs here and they're being financially savvy. So if you like this trade for Malik Collins, if you don't know his game, hopefully now you're a little bit more familiar. Hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. More thoughts on Eric Kendricks and then we're going to get you caught up on everything that the Niners have done so far in this free agency period. But first, Eight Sleep, powering today's show. And Eight Sleep will give you a sleep to power a whole new you with Eight Sleep. You got to get their pod cover, man. I'm telling you. It's going to improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed like a fitted sheet and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed as low as 55 degrees and up to 110 degrees. In addition to keeping you at the perfect temperature all night, the pod also tracks your sleep and health metrics. On average, pod users see their sleep quality improve by 32% after just one month on the pod. There is no better way to improve your day-to-day -day life better than sleep, and the easiest way to do that is with the 8 Sleep Pod 3. Start your new year right, invest in the rest that you deserve with the 8 Sleep Pod, and kickstart the year fully charged. Don't you want to get comfortable with your significant other like we're showing you right now? Get down and dirty on the Pod 3, which you can heat up to 110 degrees or as low as 55 I cold plunge every morning, sauna every night, so I like the hot and cold exposure. And you can power everything right from your phone. It's the intelligent sleep system that you've been missing. $200 off free shipping, 8sleep.com slash chat sports. As for Eric Kendricks, the Niners signing him to their linebacking core. And Fred Warner, Eric Kendricks, D. Winners, and Jalen Graham. It's going to be your linebacking core to start off 2024 until Dre Greenlaw can come back. It's serviceable, completely serviceable, because you're also stacking up the front line of the defense in the defensive line. Now, Kendricks, 32 years old, so he's a little bit older. And he was a 2015 second-round pick out of UCLA, but a very well-accomplished player in this league. Smart, heady player as well. Released by the Chargers to save $6.5 million. First-team All-Pro in 2019 with Minnesota from 2015 to 2022. Signs with the Chargers in 2023. And... When I talk about him being accomplished, it's not just him making it to an all-pro selection in 2019. He's been durable. He's been consistent and a tackling machine. Eight straight years of 100-plus tackles, and he gave up no touchdowns in coverage in 2023. Very solid there. So here's an entire glance of what the Niners have done so far this offseason. Colton McKivitz, one-year, $7 million deal. The Chargers, by the way, releasing Mike Williams, wide receiver. Brandon Allen, one year, $1.21 million. Leonard Floyd, two years, 20. Jawan Jennings, the second round tender. Yeter Gross Matos, two years, 18. George Odom, two years, up to $10 million. Jordan Elliott, two years, 10. Eric Kendricks, one year deal. I imagine it's worth the vet men. And Malik Collins, Niners trading for him for a seventh round pick, and then Kyle Juszczyk restructure clears $1.75 million in 2024 cap space. Fred Warner restructure opened up about $10 million in cap space. These moves significant. We're going to go live here in just a little while. By the time that you're watching this, look on the channel. Is there a red icon around the channel icon that says live? We might be live right now. Come join the most fun, most entertaining, most insightful Niners coverage and show right here on YouTube.